Question 69. Suppose that in RSA encryption, the public encryption key pair is EN, which is 355, and the private decryption key pair is DN, where we don't know what D is, but the uh, N is still 55, and D is less than N. What's the value of D? Well, <clears throat> I don't know, you can't really figure this out, you have to know the totient function, but basically for RSA encryption, N is P times Q, and usually P and Q are prime numbers. They have to be relatively prime numbers. But let's just suppose that we, you can kind of guess that, that uh, because we know N equals 55, it doesn't leave us a lot, a lot of places to go. It's, you know, P is going to be um, 5 and Q is going to be 11. It might be P is 11 and Q is 5, whatever, it doesn't really matter, okay? But you can kind of tell what P and Q is going to be. Again, those are prime or relatively prime numbers. Now the totient function, and let me write that for you, it's called totient, or Euler's function. This is the prime number minus 1 times the other prime number minus 1, which in this case is 4 times 10, which is 40. D and E mod, this is for RSA encryption. D times E mod the totient, 40, should equal 1, or it does, it equals 1. So, we have to kind of figure out what is the answer here. So we know that E is, E is 3. E is 3. We don't know what D is, but it's something mod 40 equals 1. And you know, it probably, if you look through the answers, it's not really too complicated to figure out. D's got to equal 27, because 27 times 3 is 81, mod 40 is 1. So, so the answer, D is 27, that's answer B. Hopefully that, uh, it's clear.